pink champagne I'm totally vibing It's true what they say It's all about timing Hi guys, welcome and welcome back to Unscripted. It's been a minute guys uh, and I, I'm sorry for the absence. I've been having up and downs, you know, very busy. Uh, but uh, for those who follow my second channel, C Chronicles Talking Sense, you will know that I have been trying to post on that channel and that is because I pre-record uh, my videos. So I actually had a couple of videos lined up uh, ready to air on that channel. So it was not as if I was depriving this channel for another channel. So if you're new here, I post fragrance related content as well as my life outside fragrances, which is vlogs. So if you like that style of content and you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing and joining the family. And to those who are returning, thank you so much for the continued support. I have a haul for you guys here. And um, while I show you the fragrances that I bought, um, we're just going to have a general chit chat because we need to catch up right so got a little box here from the company skins uh i'm not being sponsored by skins but for those who are in south africa looking for niche fragrances this is your plug guys i love these guys because what they do is they go above and beyond by making sure that with every purchase they throw in some samples so it's always nice to buy from them so i'm gonna unbox this one with you here instead of just coming and having a chit chat with you guys with nothing i would rather do an unboxing with you and then show you uh the purchases in here so i added uh, uh, this fragrance in my collection i love makiri uh, premier guys uh, these are the same guys that gave us um vanilla powder their fragrances are loud okay so this is actually french flower i'm not here to review it as i said i'm chit chatting with you there is something in this box that really smells strong very very heavy and uh i think it could be one of the samples because there is it's definitely not coming from this box all right so there is maybe one sample there that is kind of doing a little bit too much right so what happens when you buy from skins is it's almost like uh, getting into a treasure chest where you then dig into to find your purchases so i added this one in full size guys killian princess and i know that when i came with the review for this one i really didn't feel it i honestly said i don't I like it, but it's nothing to write home about. It was way uh, later that this fragrance started to transform and the review was already there and I started smelling the marshmallow. So added this one to my collection in full size and I cannot wait to rock this one, but this one is not coming on the channel uh, simply because we have a full review of I don't need a prince uh, by my side to be a princess from the house of Killian. Now, as for these samples, I'm going to dig through for the samples and then I'm going to try and just smell one with you guys here while we talk. Oh, okay. There is this one, right? So by Redo uh, Animalik, uh, they threw as a sample there. I am going to actually bring you a video on Byredos because I think I have maybe six, seven Byredos in my collection. So we can possibly throw that for a Western Wednesdays or something like that. Or just when I do like a cluster of reviews. And another sample is this one, as you can see. Okay, this is Montel. Oh, dark purple. I have used this fragrance before. Very nice, strong, long-lasting Montels. If you're looking for the for that um, uh, rich Montel, okay, one Montel that is most likely to tick your boxes. This is certainly one of them. This one has got like a floral twist to it, but quite intense, quite heavy. What I will be doing because. I have a lot of samples is I'll probably uh, introduce a sample day where I pick maybe five samples and review them with you guys here. All right. So here's another little sample that they threw in here. Oh my God. I don't know what number this diptych is in my collection. This is no, you know, Batty, but I think I've got like, um, I've got maybe the 12 or 13 of the, deep ticks and it won't be coming uh, as a single uh review because i have done i have a dedicated video on the deep ticks but if i have another say five more that are not included in that video i will definitely bring them so yes thank you so much to skins cosmetics they threw this right and I, as i said it's not a sponsored video i actually purchased this fragrances but i'm just showing you you know that uh, how generous this company is oh okay there is that one more there all right, this is a creed. This is a creed. Let's see which one it is. Oh, Queen of Silk. Oh yeah. This, 
is the thing that is smelling in the box, right? Yeah, this is absolutely the fragrance that has contaminated uh, this box. This is loud, guys. All right, so let me give you a close-up of, see if there's notes written there or something like, no, there is no notes written. Uh, so I have to go with my nose. But let me just show you a close up where it says Queen of Silk. Okay, Queen of Silk. And this I must, just right here. This I have to tell you my thoughts on it. Okay. This is heady. This is strong. This is spicy. Yeah, there's, um, it's giving me a mix of everything. And by everything I'm saying, it's a piercing floral, definitely a piercing like white floral. And I wouldn't call it just a, just one white floral, like a combination of a lot of white florals. But where I say it's given me a mix of a little bit of everything is in the sense that there is the florals there and there is a feel of fruits there. Um, I did... I did have a sneak peek of the notes a while ago. If I'm not mistaken, guys, this Queen of Silk must have passion fruit. So there is like a fruity nuance to this fragrance, but not only just the passion fruit, there is something in here that's coming off as a like apricot -y, if you know what I mean. And then there's a mild feel of the woods maybe adding to like a uh, spiciness there. And the piercing thing as well could be patchouli. This is certainly a heavy hitter, guys. This is not a fragrance that you want to go 10 sprays on because first of all, as I said, it felt as though the actual box in itself was scented until I dug out this. And then I realized, no, it is actually Queen of Silk. This is very heavy on that patchouli, on the ambroxan. It's got like a warm feel to it. Also feels a little bit creamy. It's giving me a little bit of everything, you know, like a soft touch of woods, a little bit of some incense there, a little bit of some oud, uh, but not enough oud as in the way we know oud to be done by some of the Middle Eastern, you know, fragrance, uh, fragrance companies. So this is an oud that just kind of like bland, blends with everything that's happening there. But this is a, this is certainly a heavy hitter. I would put it in a class of fragrances uh, like the Materi Premier type of fragrances where the Materi Premier fragrances are so heady. I could have purchased the vanilla powder, guys, from my Materi Premier, but that fragrance, the two samples that I have of that fragrance, are just enough i mean it's the sort of fragrance that if you are a person who says i want a fragrance that i'm going to invest in where i don't waste my time going round and round in circles buying fragrance after fragrance after fragrance then it you know these this company i would recommend the materi premia even the french flower itself the actual fragrance that i've got in here i would definitely recommend because they do like heavy hitters uh, that vanilla powder is gonna knock you off if you love vanilla and this creed is uh another one that i can you know class as one for beast mode lovers and this is fantastic i i like it guys and it's it giving it's giving me a unisex type of appeal it's not the sort of fragrance i would say is ultra feminine although let me put it by ratio and be fair uh i'm gonna say it's giving me like um maybe 70 percent feminine vibes 70 30 feminine vibes but it could very well be 50 50. this one is marketed uh for the ladies out there but i think men can totally carry this okay the other, um lot that i have is supposed to be for my second channel which is why i said i uh, do check out c chronicles talking sense uh if you are into uh fragrances that are affordable that style of thing so i did purchase i'm not gonna open these fragrances but let me just show you in fact if anything i might open these ones because these, these have nothing to do with the channel but i just wanted to show you in case you were interested so i finally have the rare passion from the house of Atnan, and um never smelt it before uh this is gonna be my first time and i bought from zimaya la rose okay it says like straight to prefer so i do hope it does live to that extrait because i don't want you know i hope they're not throwing around that extrait name for nothing and then there is a the fairy tale right so also from uh the house of zimaya so these are gonna come on my second channel and from this store which is uh Parfumo absolute um 
I hate the fact that, you know, they put some stuff on the website and sometimes it's not there. Now I'm talking about Perfumo. Absolutely. Let me see if I can show you. Uh, no, there is no logo to this. It's just the courier thing and whatever. So I can't show you that. Uh, but the one thing I hate about them is they will they, they don't update their website like pretty on a regular basis so they will put stuff that was not that that is not there and this i did not order guys and this is not a freebie i had actually ordered an amaf facial scrub uh if you know amaf does facial scrubs they do their lipsticks now they do foundations and stuff and they didn't have that and then next thing is that i got a call asking what they could put and i, I was so pissed i just said just put anything anything i, I don't care so anyway uh these i'm not gonna open here they're for the second channel now guys uh the chit chat i meant to talk uh to you about is just uh, my thoughts on uh the direction at which uh this uh, fragrance reviewing is going um if you're not subscribed to this channel please subscribe to this channel uh you know why it's because i really want to throw my weight on this channel when it comes to uh vlogs most especially okay because the rate at which you know the fragrance reviewing thing has just gone like crazy in terms of uh, it's being saturated has gotten to a point where it's no longer as enjoyable as it was uh for me i'm being very honest and this is no pun intended to anybody who wants to join the fragrance reviewing industry for anybody who wants to start their youtube around fragrance reviewing no pun intended i personally started this thing out of the passion for fragrances i'm just a person who loves you know to smell different all the time and i like exploring fragrances i use fragrances for mood if you come to my house there's a, a you know a lot of uh, aromas you know uh, that you're going to smell around the house i've got artificial flowers where i put some oils there and stuff of course it doesn't smell like um uh like say like a busy kind of busy busy push and pull kind of a uh, house that smells of everything Thing, but I just love a house and a space that smells good just as I love smelling good. I love to purchase a fragrance, process it. I love to purchase a fragrance because I want the fragrance. For instance, this is not new, right? Uh, this bottle actually had another bottle that had that big golf ball looking thing. But because I sincerely uh, tried it out, fell in love with the little miniature, I wanted to own it in my collection and this is not new this is not like the latest killian if you know what i'm trying to say well this might be new i don't know uh because when i went to skins some three four months ago i saw this 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 particular one and i actually have a photograph of myself holding it on my instagram page where i said i need this asap it was this one and the casa Casablanca, Casablanca by uh, by Redo. I need that one as well, but it was actually out of stock. Uh, if it was, I would have bought the Casablanca and I would have bought this one instead of, you know, the princess. But I love this. I don't have a problem with it. Now, going back to what I was saying without me, you know, um, losing uh, my train of thought is... I sincerely love fragrances and it has, it is something that I'm doing out of the passion. I would not stop reviewing fragrances, but I just hate the fact that it has become sort of like a, a, an industry where, uh, it's about who can get what first and who can say the fastest win and it defeats you know the passion for instance i have this okay the, this one all right this is not new okay this rare passion is so not new i think this one is maybe under a year old but it's not new okay i didn't feel the need to buy it immediately in as much as i saw afnan marketing it and everything so i think what's happening with the fragrance industry is we are headed for our own undoing in the sense that even these companies you know are maybe not going after quality control because of everything being hyped at the same time you know it doesn't matter what it is it just has to be hyped so uh that is the reason why i'm just saying to you guys i want to try and balance it out uh that is why the very first thing i said when i came on this channel was an apology i love this channel i'd love to grow this channel as much as i did with my original channel which is c chronicles talking sense i'd love to put you know enough effort and uh, to make sure that uh i put enough attention but at the same time i don't want to feel rushed up i learned the hard way when i purchased my um what was the name of that fragrance 
uh, Latafa Sur. I purchased Latafa Sur. It was about 50 something dollars and it cost about $19 to ship to my country. And that same Latafa Sur on the same website, I think is now going for half the price. So you learn, you live and learn that, you know, there's really no pressure. There's really no hurry, especially when it comes to the Middle Eastern fragrances. You know, that price, that low price that we pay for the Middle Eastern fragrances, truth be told is because we're paying to macerate the fragrances on behalf of the Middle Eastern companies because there's no way they are letting the fragrances sit enough for them to be, you know, to be ready to use immediately, which is something that uh, these other more expensive companies will give a fragrance time. By the time it's released, say I open this one, it's, it's probably done its maceration and all that. There's no need. I may need to deoxygenate it because of course it was in postage, but at the same, but it's not like I need to wait like three, four months for the fragrance to actually mix up and start communicating now the fragrance industry has gone in such a direction where uh, this fast fingers first we are having fragrances released left right and center no time to enjoy them while you're trying to process you know one fragrance there's already 10 more that the company has dropped there and if you're a reviewer you just have to you know purchase these fragrances and stuff so i took um that direction of saying i'm not gonna uh, stress myself i'm building onto my collection you know remember these are uh, this channel was primarily introduced to focus on my life outside fragrance reviews as well as to talk about fragrances that i don't feature on my other channel reason being on that other channel, um, the niche around that channel is about affordable fragrances, affordable alternative fragrances, smell likes that sort of thing. So putting the two on one channel, much as it may be easy uh, for me because I get to sit through just one video, uh, does not make get you know the same traction. So if you are a YouTuber, you know how much that hurts the channel where one minute you've got views that are consistent and next minute you've got like a dike. So on this channel, I can take a chance, talk about my Byredo, Animalik, uh, whatever this is, get my 200 views. I wouldn't care because, you know, it is what it is. The channel in itself is still at a trial rate. It hasn't taken any direction. I can record myself cooking. That video makes 50 views or 500 views or 5,000 views. Uh, it makes no difference to me because it's a channel that at the moment is not really niched on anything, you know. Although, of course, yes, a lot of you guys came from fragrances so i know every time i talk about fragrances there's like a, a higher views and stuff but i'm just saying i don't feel pressured uh like i do on my other channel so i would love for you guys to support this channel as much as you can uh by subscribing uh by checking out even the second channel i'm not leaving the second channel but i'm just giving you an example of you know the reason why i i i'm going to make sure that i balance the act both ways the absence here was simply because uh, i had a very busy schedule i was actually not at home so i was uh you know moving from one place to the other but the other channel did not get affected because i had pre-recorded videos you know that way already um if you're a youtuber you know this you can do 10 videos in one day and then just put them on this one for the 10th this one for the 11th this one for the 15th and stuff like that in whatever time you do the thumbnails and you just go about you know doing your business and youtube is going to take care of the rest so that is why that other channel was not affected but this one uh was a little bit disturbed because i did drop that tray and then it was the last you heard of me guys so thank you so much uh for listening to this chat let me know your thoughts um about what i just said uh we can meet in a comment section i will bring you the byredos if you can get your hands on that Byredo, the Casablanca, not this one. This one I haven't tried. Uh, if you can get your hands on Casablanca, you will th thank me later because I sprayed that one on my arm at Skins Cosmetics the other day and that was the only fragrance I could smell the whole day. Just like what, you know, this Queen of Silk is doing. It's the only fragrance I can smell here. So even if I wanted to do a review for another fragrance, it will literally be a waste of time. See, Chronicles is my name. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's meet in that comment section where we discuss more about fragrances remember to turn on post notifications guys that way you get to be notified anytime i upload a video like and share this one and stay safe stay blessed i'll see you in the next one bye for now